A Colorado ski getaway ended in COVID-19 for 10 Australians, but after two of them left isolation to hit the slopes, it was public health officials and Colorado's attorney general who felt sick. I got a courtesy call from the attorney general's office. Pitkin County DA Jeff Cheney talked to us over Skype. And they just wanted to let me know they might be taking action to enforce uh, an order. Legal action contemplated to enforce an isolation order for those sick Australians. Ultimately, that didn't happen, in part because of confusion about what people should and shouldn't be doing. Taking coordinated actions. And to be fair, that very day, Governor Jared Polis suggested skiing was safe. Ski lifts, why not tell ski resorts, you're closed, or you can only have 250 or fewer people ski at a day? Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, 250 people skiing today, you're talking about a huge slope. So the next day, Polis ordered the lift shut down. By then, the isolation order had been lifted for the Australians, and they'd left town. But for the Pitkin County DA, there's a larger lesson. Violating a public health order is illegal. You know, one could face uh, fines, substantial fines, um, jail, incarceration. Uh, so it's it's a crime. And even though Cheney's never charged someone with ignoring a public health order. What's happening is the leadership in government is trying to balance public health, public safety, and honoring folks' constitutional freedoms. It doesn't mean he won't. Freedom might have to be curtailed to some extent in the event public health outweighs uh, that. And Kevin Vaughn, 9 News. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser said that his office will use the full force of the law to enforce compliance with public health orders. AG's full statement is in this article on 9news.com.